Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, be, uh, what? Edited, of course, because of copyright. And then I give you my review, did I like it, did I not like it, did it stand the test of time, and I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and what the hell do I know? That's on Mondays, on Fridays, my top tier patrons, my Millennial Movie Members can pick any movie of any year of any genre and I gotta watch it now today if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail I am watching the 1987 inner space from millennial movie member Tachi and um I have absolutely no idea who's in it why he wanted me to watch it sometimes Tachi has a history of picking movies where he'll tell me like for Space Odyssey he was like maybe you should be a little elevated when he requested Samurai Cop he was like keep in mind it's a bad film but it's so bad it's good so usually he gives me like a little bit of preface without giving it away this one he just requested it no other information which is fine but that means I am going to look up a movie poster and this is what I am looking at inner space Steven Spielberg love most of his movies a lot of them. Y'all know which one I don't like. An adventure of incredible proportions, inner space. This summer, take a trip you'll never forget. So we got fingers holding a person and a something. Is this shrinking and going somewhere? It doesn't say any names, that, at least that I can read on the, on the front, from this distance at least. I might need to get my eyes checked. That's a problem for future me, not today me. I'm excited about exploring. I love sci-fi films. Is this sci-fi? I mean, it's Steven Spielberg, so maybe. Anyways, I'm excited to see if I'll recognize anybody in this film and see what we get into. So no more, <laughs> no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's millennial movie member request, which is the 1987 Inner Space. Dennis Quaid, um, Dennis Quaid, um, that sounds really familiar. Love Martin Short. Maybe I'll recognize Dennis once we- Meg Ryan? Ah! What are we looking in? Is this ice? It was ice. Love that. Great at guessing today. Okay, big brain Ashley, get into it, girl. Well, damn, if we're not balls to the wall with all American hero types here tonight. <laughs> oh my God, okay. You get to test out these babies. So are you jealous? I envy you. Yes, he is. <laughs> I salute you. <laughs> Should I spill my drink? <laughs> That's not all you did. But at least when my moment of truth came, I didn't take a dump down the leg of my flight suit. You son of a god! What? Could you just excuse me? I'm sorry. Just excuse me. I hate her hair. I hate it. Where's your uniform? Well, yours should have been a long time ago. Oh no. You're responsible for him being there? Like, you gotta take him home? You want a drink? I don't think you need one. Something new I'm involved in. Rabbits? Taxidermy? Now, you're in no shape to drive, Lydia. Oh, <laughs> okay. Girl, you must be stronger than this. Girl, do not fall for this. A man cannot just turn on the radio after making a drunk fool of himself and you'd be like, okay. Be better. Do better. What is going on here? He come out naked and everything. Look, don't leave. That is a beautiful man. You know you love me, huh? I do. My toe on the cab when I kicked the door. I... Oh no, you poor baby. Can we go now, please? Lydia! Lydia! Oh my god, that is butt and like the faintest hit of balls underneath there. Do y'all see that? I know I wasn't the only one that saw that. Now we've got nausea, we got shortness of breath. I love my chart! Horrible, obnoxious woman with bright orange hair. Oh my god, is that Large Marge? Then I wake up screaming. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to a psychiatrist about these nightmares. I feel like you got a lot of things to work through. Regular office visits are the cornerstone of my entire medical practice. Oh, so he's a hypochondriac. He was the only one we could find who was crazy enough to do it. <laughs> yeah, 
That qualifies you. I don't look so depressed. Experiment's bound to fail long before Pendleton has a chance to screw it up. Well, I'm glad that you have optimism. I'm just real confused on everything going on right now, and I just really hope it makes sense soon. All right, you know what? Get into it. You could die, maybe. It kind of looks like you could die. I don't know. Selfie! <laughs> 3808 unit. I still caught in it last week. It's not quite okay. as reliable. Why did you? Okay, well that's okay. Well, <laughs> this is done because we. I just don't trust this guy. He's about to make something go big wrong. I feel like. Oh, well, that's good. You know, I'm, I bet that light's not important. What does a rabbit have to do with this? I'm so confused. The more, like, sci-fi, techie movies I watch from the 80s and things, the more I'm starting to question the moon landing. You mean to tell me computers that look like that or lower got our asses to the moon? That seems wild to me. Do you have any other papers you haven't turned in? Why is this science place so unorganized? You spilt coffee, he didn't turn in paperwork. Like, if y'all doing some experiments, I need y'all to have it a little more together. And that's coming from me. Why does that kind of look like B12 from the video game Stray? Well, I'd simply vomit. I cannot wait to see how the rabbits play into this, because I do not understand. Oh, he shrunk down, and now he's inside a syringe. What is the purpose of being that tiny? What are, what are we going to do being that tiny? There he is. Now, how do you know he's still alive? Can he communicate? Oh! There he is, okay, wow, all right. So far so good then. And he's gonna go in a rabbit? That's where the rabbits come in? I'm sorry, you mean to tell me all that glorious hair was in your little hard hat? Absolutely not. Also, she is beautiful. I don't know who that is, but that hair with them blue eyes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I see you backed yourself into a corner once again. Literally. Oh, he's about to kick ass. I was about to say, you know he's in there like... Blah, 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 blah. I'm honestly impressed by that doctor's fast thinking, because I did not think he'd be that smart. Oh my god, it's like playing Frogger. That was a glass door. You mean to tell me that man coming out of the mall or wherever he's at? Didn't see the man rushing in. Well, I certainly envy you. Fun, excitement. He's going on a cruise! Fine. Well, as long as it isn't too exciting. What a fun vacation. Not the penguins and the nuns. Stop it. Wow. Back when malls were like a big deal, now you walk in and half the stores close. It's wild. Okay, but his... Okay, you know what? I got my own question answered. I was gonna say, his hand was looking like that in the car. Well, easy. He had a gun. Or an exploding finger. Maybe putting that in, like, maybe stabbing a hypochondriac with a needle wasn't the best thing to do. Wait a second, when did he get got? Oh, did he get got by the finger gun? Imagine dying being surrounded by mascots. I'm not scared of them, but like, that would scar me. Wakey wakey, you're in somebody's ass cheek. Oh, those are supposed to be fat cells. Hate that, hate it, stop. Oh my God, he has a robot head. Stop it, is this Terminator? Late, that's not good. You know it's coupon day. Sorry, Mr. Wolf. Oh God, not coupon day. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a pretty accurate representation of where you're at. We had a date last night. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You forgot? How you put it on the eggs, girl! <laughs> well? It's the lady. I'm in a hurry. Why do I feel like looking at her is like looking into my future? Can y'all see it? I can kind of see it. Oh, no. 
Oh no, is this his dream or is this real life? Is he really messing up like this? Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Okay, so it's his, it's his dream. It's his dream! <gasps> That's a really cool lighter and I was very scared. <laughs> oh, oh, hi! Hey, I'm not oh, baby, not that many. Yeah. I, don't th I don't think it's gonna help. I don't think it's gonna help. What the hell is going, doesn't anything work? Is he about to find out that he's in a butt? Okay, okay, all right. Honestly, kind of getting freaked out in this movie. Kind of getting freaked out. To connect to the eyeball and see what he sees? Ah! I bet, I bet. Oh, God. Girl, it ain't even happening. I hate her. I hate her. I'm in a strange man, surrounded by strangers in a strange room. We've all been there, haven't we? How the hell can I be inside a man? I studied up on rabbit. Well, they're kind of the same. That is wild. That is wild. Just the, 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 the graphics, it's, it's a lot happening for me. Was that an eardrum? It kind of looks like the poop emoji. That is so gross. How did they do this? I'm gonna give the man ten. What is what is tinnitus? I almost said ten tinnitus. That's not right. Tinnitus. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, this is not gonna be good for him. This is not gonna be good for him. He's gonna take a vacation, all right, but it ain't gonna be on a cruise ship. It's gonna be in a really nice padded room. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? I would be having a full-blown panic attack. I would be losing my mind actively. He is keeping it really together. No, I'm sorry. I didn't hear anything. Are you feeling all right? Well, I mean, if you're at the doctor, probably not. Would I be in a doctor's office if I was feeling all right? There it is! Don't what? Don't have to talk. Yes, we do. We do? Do what? Have to talk. Not unless you want to. <laughs> Somebody help me! I'm possessed! wrong not too far off jack i think we can rule out demonic possession right off what you what you doing buddy see that proves it demons talk through you not to you valid point valid point Blind. oh god you know that burns because that light is bright even even if you're not in an ear medieval remedy was to flay the skin off your body with brands of fire no thanks. Jack. He knows my name. Jack. Can you talk a little bit faster? Add some reassurance so maybe he'll calm down. I wonder what's on the television. TV is so much fun around now. Jack. Ready? Here we go. Wow. Wow. Primary core overload. And look, now, look what you did. You done, you done played yourself, homie. And you don't know anything about the experiment? What experiment? Well, there's your answer. Made your phone? What? No, leave. Get out. Here we go, man. Uh, grab it! Look at how brave you become just from having this guy inside your noggin. Check your pulse rate. I'm going too fast. Sorry, he can't really remain calm. He's he's literally fighting a guy with a gun right now. It's a stressful situation. Nice. Take the gun with you! Why do people in movies give up their guns so fast? I've got a little problem here. I'm gonna go off radio contact for a minute. Well, that's not reassuring. Okay, well that's it. I'm gonna spend the next, like, four hours of my life after this movie is over looking up how they made this movie because this is really cool. Back it up, Terry! Back it up! Cardiac arrest imminent. Take evasive action. Cardiac arrest imminent? Ooh, ooh, stop pulling on his innards! It's one hell of a pump you got there, Jack. He made it! And also, he's able to see everything that I see. So, so far, your experiment, big success. Oh, come on, Doc, this is a guy, not a bunny. Yes, but the computer doesn't know that. How are you gonna know that if he got in a rabbit? You know what I mean? A rabbit can't be like, yep, confirmed, you know what I mean? 
Threw it in with a bunch of eggheads that don't know squat about security. That's what went wrong. Yeah, well, thanks. Well, that doesn't make Martin feel any better. You better, you two-faced son of a bitch. Tuck says thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Stay here. Both of you. Oh. Is now the time for jokes? <laughs> Directly at them. Don't turn your head. I think I can beef up the reception a little bit. Okay, that's really cool. Not by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. What happens at 9 o'clock? By 9 o'clock... He runs out of air. His air supply runs out. There it is! There it is! We can't save him now, and that's too bad. Thanks, Pete. Well, that big sucks! That huge sucks! Be quiet for a second, let me think this through. Jack! No, this is life and death. This teeny tiny human skeleton at the helm. <laughs> Not the human skeleton. <laughs> oh. Better you than me, I cannot drive stick. What? That's the thing that I want from you, no pain. Oh, that's a simple request. Because I can't have a drink unless you have a drink. Do we really, should we really be drunk behind the wheel of a miniature ship inside of a human body? Should we, you know, we're not supposed to drink and drive as normal humans. You tried to save my ass by injecting me into yours. <laughs> Why does he, why does he give me, like, knockoff Jack Nicholson vibes? His smile. Yes, Martin. Yes, baby. Get it to it. Oh, watch out. Easy. Also, your doctor said no excitement, and I don't think this is it. I didn't know dancing could be so much fun. <laughs> you ought to try it with a girl sometime. <laughs> I just realized I don't know what the hell you look like from the outside. <gasps> That's a great point. You don't know what he looks like. <clears throat> How's this? Oh. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot more help. <laughs> Slap it. Harder. I hate this routine. I hate this routine he has. Zero defects. <sighs> See, tell me that doesn't give you some kind of Jack Nicholson vibes. It does. It does. Look at them boots. Look at them boots. You know what they was made for? Walking. And let me tell you what they're going to do. That. If you ever wonder what it's like to live in Nashville, Tennessee, it's it's that. It's that everywhere, all the time. Hawk the horn! Hawk the horn! Hawk the horn! She's going to be like, who the hell is that man in his car? Wow, here we go. I know, Meg Ryan is beautiful. Shut up and listen. You are Lydia, wearing... shut up and listen. Damn. Let me tell you something. If I was Lydia, punch him right in the face. Is being held for ransom. Inside your body. Or his body. How did you get involved in this? Me? Uh, yeah. How long you got, girl? It's a wild story. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Can't we negotiate for more time? No, this... Death. Area, vicinity. Area. It's uh, difficult to know Who exactly. Who has him? Right in front of you, some might say. <laughs> ah! Jeez Louise. Now it will immobilize you for up to 15 minutes and- Don't talk about it, be about it, girl. Aw, oh, shit! Not good! And you helped him. Could that have gone more worse for you? Damn. <laughs> wow, Meg does not get in a hurry in this movie, does she? She really takes her sweet time doing everything. Where are we? Some kind of a meat locker? Okay. Mobile meat locker, actually. Freezing. You're freezing? Oh, goodness gracious, baby. You really are. Where are we? Jack? Jack is focusing on not dying. He'll give it to you when he can. Mild hypothermia. We need him alive. At least it's mild. Let me take care of him. I know how to warm him up. Girl, that is not standard medical practice. Also, why are you trying to have sexy time with a halfway frozen body? That's weird. I'm staying back here with my friend. Y'all not moving him out of the freezer truck? Y'all gonna keep him in the freezer truck? I don't give a shit. I'm only in this for the money. We love honesty. We've got to get that little part out from inside of you. 
That's why she stole the one chip, because if they get that out of him, the other chip is in that, so then they have both chips, and so then they successfully have shrinking and larging, getting bigger. Hold it, wait, go back to the doors. Yeah. Oh, it's a little open. Risk it, go. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Leave the meat truck. He did it. Now what does he do? You are scaring the hell out of me, Jack. Same, same. Hey, Meg, do you want to pull up beside the truck? Thank you. Can we put a, can we expedite your plan, girlfriend? Oh, not a motorcycle. Whoop! I'm too stressed. I also love how the driver just hasn't checked his so Oh my god, Martin, just sit down. There you go. But anyways, as I was saying, I am thoroughly surprised that the meat truck man has not checked his side mirrors. He would have seen it. I have a feeling he's going to lead us right to that chip we need. Hey, knock it off. No, she deserves better. And honestly, I think he is better for her. There he is. Per and yep, that is Cowboy. He does not blend in. Not easily, at least. Oh, Tuck always keeps a packed suitcase in the trunk just in case he wakes up in a strange place. It might be time for an intervention. Intervention. The Cowboy is in town, and we still don't have that other chip. You know what? I love a person who can stay on theme, and that man has a theme. Just get me that chip. Oh, well, it's all an illusion. That is so funny. I'm a cowboy who's never seen a heat gun. Is that to like um, f form it to your foot or stretch it out for your foot? I tipped the desk clerk a hundred dollars for this room so we could hear every move that he makes. Oh, that makes sense. Worth it. Hey, I told you to cut that out. What are you looking at? I thought you were a gentleman. Please, what do you know about being a gentleman? Oxygen reserve at sixty percent. Twenty-three hundred. You know what? This movie's a little too timely with the whole Ocean Gate Titan air thing. I got drunk and threw up and fell down a manhole walking, you know. So you clearly have an issue and you're gonna lose your boo because of it. How well do you know, Tuck? They're pretty close. Very close. It's like he can see inside me. Right. Oh, the cowboy, he's leaving. Oh yeah, we're here on a mission, I forgot. Wendy? Well, look I at you! Me. Look at you! Right. I'm with him! Yeah. Well, she's with me. No, you're not. Oh my god, Wendy. Oh, I hate Wendy. I'm... I cannot wait to find out what slam dancing is. I've never heard of that before. Look at those lasers. Oh, hell yeah, cowboy. Get into it, cowboy! You know what? I would dance with cowboy. He's fun. That is Blake's signature move, is the rope in the pool. Oh, this big upsetty spaghetti you, you big man. Wendy, please, I'm so over you and your crimped hair, please. I make love with my boots on. Okay. Well, now I want to know, too! Now I want to know, too! You're probably the only person at the supermarket that I haven't slept with. Damn. Person that I'm even partially attracted to. So, sleep with him! <laughs> Wendy. Wendy, get out. Listen, men, you deserve a woman who won't put you on the back burner like Wendy does. Alright? Have yourself confidence! Pendleton, that's it. Where are you? Where are you, you little weasel? Not him punching himself. <laughs> there you go. Now, look. Hey, he will appreciate that you left on the boots. Okay, go to the mirror. Mirror. 
He is not about to take on his feet. No. Stimulation of your nerves and muscles. What does that mean? I'm gonna alter your face. You could alter my face. Stop! No! For real? Trust me. Will it hurt? Uh, Probably. Sounds painful. Oh my god, I'm I'm freaking out because I already know the practical effects on this are about to be wild. Nice. It worked. It worked well enough. At what point do you have to believe him? Because I guess now, I guess now's the point that you believe him. What is that? What is that? What do you put in there? Oh, gold tooth. Nice. Is that knocking in the movie or is it in real life? Oh, it's on the movie. Okay. What an interesting looking building. It's like a little dome. Oh, it's a greenhouse. Well, there you go. Eat your men's barbecue. <laughs> Hold on. That guy, he's been in stuff. He's been in stuff. We saw each other. Have you, cowboy? Uh, oh, that I'm wink. Speaking of which, we uh. seem to have a rather... Huh, Murnau. That man has been in other movies and I just things. don't know what it is right now. Jack! Stop freaking out! Stop freaking out! You're gonna blow the cover. Tiny. Who would think... <gasps> your tooth! Oh my god, your tooth! Oh my god, your tooth. If Cowboy's ever told you of his incredible tolerance for pain... Because you're just about to get, uh, tortured. In lieu of champagne. How about some real pain? Oh, Mr. Robot Man is here. Hello, Mr. Man. How doing? Are you all right, Jack? He's literally getting threatened with Robot Hand Man with a flamethrower. No, he's not all right. Jack, you're generating too much electrical energy and can't hold the balance. Stop it. I knew the practical effects were going to come in somewhere. It's giving me total recall. It's giving me total recall. Oh, it's Total Recall all over again! Oh! Oh, okay, it all- it all worked out normal! <laughs> wow, about time Lydia did something useful. Until you tell me what is going on. And I want to know everything, Jack. You know what? Honestly, that's a very reasonable request. But it was my heart that was broken and not my toe. Beautiful. Beautiful. I, I want you to shut off your sensors. No picture, no sound. I wouldn't trust him to do that. Alone with Lydia, you mean, sir? Yeah, well, she's got some things she needs to hear. Shoot your shot, my, 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 blah, 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 my guy. Shoot your shot. There you go. That's what's up. Get him through it, baby. Oh my god, he can't restore connection. Mr. Hunter, if you please. <laughs> the way they're holding him up. <laughs> You're a big man. You don't have to be worried about nail files. The taser! The taser. Where are you now? In his bowels? Lydia. I'm in Lydia. When they kissed, he came out and his spit. Oh my God. And she's pregnant. She was, oh, she put on a lab coat. I was going to say she was wearing a different jacket earlier. Yeah, well, she took that one off and put a new one on, Ashley. That's how jackets work. Once he takes over the pot and gets the chip, let's re-enlarge. While in him? Have you any idea the kind of mess that would make? The kind of mess that would make? Let him go. Okay, Brave. Everybody into the miniaturizer. Everybody into the miniaturizer! Oh, heavens, girl. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of this. Let's go, Jack. You got the chip? I can't reach. The way he just said that made me think of Scooby-Doo, and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you and your... Ah! Ah! Still over there. Her and this gun really stressed me out. I'm sorry. I'll get you for this, Margaret. And your little dog, too! Come on, do the damn ah. Hey, whatever works, works. Drop it! <laughs> please hear this, please. Oh, she's gonna freak out. Do you hear that? Come on. Music, do you hear that? Oh, it's just his player. It's his, it's his music. Oh, I thought she was just like jamming out in their getaway car or something. Let me see. Let me see! 
Let me see them. Yeah, look at you! You think it's him, but it's really you. You're gonna learn to believe in yourself and I love that for you. Character development. But that means I just... Oh, shit. That means you did it yourself. Oh, and you might have to do it again. Let me see. Oh, I'm so... I'm so excited. Since you kissed me. Since the kiss, that's how you got in there. Oh, y'all really just passing him back and forth, aren't you? Oh yeah, I forgot about No! No! Are you kidding? That's hilarious! Stop it! That's so funny! The elongated tiny arms. I can't. I can't with this anymore! Jack, what's going on? A lot! A lot is going on! Can we just trust each other that we're doing our best? Oh, well, at least you have, like, a, like, a GPS locator. At least you know, you know, now. Well, I was gonna say if he kills him, but the chip he needs is in the actual device. So, if, like, if he's a casualty, I guess dude doesn't really care. I can't with this. This is too funny. Another example of why I want to see videos on how this movie was made. Can we just pull over and knock out the people in the backseat and then we can focus on what's going on inside of our bodies? How are you gonna exit? Oh wait, she said like tear duct or sweat gland earlier. The air tanks. Oh, so he's literally not trying to extract this ship with keeping him alive. He wants to kill him totally and take the ship. Got it. Where is he in the body right now? Are we in the nose? Are we a booger? Are we a booger? Oh, are we in the stomach? Gastrointestinal acid detected. Stomach. That's bile. I need some stomach acid, Jack, and I need lots of it. Oh, no, no. You can do this one thing, and it's throw up. Do it. Oh, there we go. Got him worried enough to produce more bile. That's how I spell relief. Here's how I spell relief. Is that a slogan of something? Jack. So what? All my pocket change is shrunk. Well, use your credit card, Victor. You do have one, don't you? It is also shrunk. I've got it. Cowboy, this is Victor Springshaw. <laughs> Switch to manual. Switch to manual? Switch to manual what? Breathing? Oh, that's that's what it means by manual, the little mask thingy. Okay, hear me out. If you got him to throw up, but like catch it in a doggy bag, like throw up, the throw up with you in there is there. Take it to the lab, and then they can make you big. I don't know. Hairspray. Somebody allergic to hairspray. I never thought that was gonna come back into hand, like handy. I never thought like this is wild. This is wild. Don't breathe too heavy. Don't accidentally blow him off, you know? The chip. The chip, you've got uh, it. Oh my god, it's been so long ago. I forgot he had the other chip. There it is. Go, 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 go. Good. The tech guy with the headset, he is not in a rush. He's like, all right, I'm gonna put the chip in. We're good. It's fine. Calm down, buddy. Wow, that robot arm is really taking the Tour de France. <laughs> Eat me? Drink me? What? It's from the X. Alice in Wonderland? Which one was it? I don't remember. It's been so long since I've seen the cartoon Alice in Wonderland. Why do people do that? If a goggle comes with a strap, just it takes no extra seconds to put the strap around and here y'all look so dumb holding the goggles on. I don't understand. Just put the strap around your head. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Uh, did it work? 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 The ship is big. Is he big? Is he alive? Man, I wanted her to end up with Jack, but now that we know she's pregnant with dude's baby. I know, Jack. I know, Jack. I don't, don't even talk to me about it. I'm disappointed for you, baby. Welcome home, Lieutenant. I was gonna say, y'all got a hug, because it's, y'all been more intimate than that. Okay, this is a beautiful location. What is this building? I mean, a church, obviously, but like, what a beautiful church. 
Aw, I hope he got his life together for her. You kiss another man on your wedding day, girl? On your wedding day, girl? She should have ended up with Jack. She should have ended up with Jack. Nobody even noticed my cuff <laughs> He has the chips on him. Good, good. Close the lid, close the lid. I forgot about them. Don't run any red lights. Okay, thanks a lot. So nice. You didn't recognize Cowboy? You didn't recognize Cowboy? <laughs> Wendy, please. Wendy, please. Listen, I've been thinking about something and- Don't do it, Jack. Not no. exclusively at first, I- What a butthead. That was a cowboy. Huh? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. He noticed. Wendy, not a chance. Awesome. Good for you, baby. Very cool. Very cool move. Amazing exit. Unless you hit a person on your way out. Do not. Do not. Well, I'll get you a doctor, girl. I don't think this movie would have, like, an end credit scene. But also, at the same point, like, I would be really happy if it did. Does that make sense? So we're going to wait it out. No end credit scene. Tell me that wouldn't have been a great end credit scene was like Jack rolling up to their honeymoon spot and is like, I don't know, did something funny. I don't know. Anyways, okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> um, so this movie, can we talk about something that I have not let go of yet is Robot Hand Man had a vibrator option. Can we talk about that? That was so funny. There were a few mentions of some people that, or maybe some slogans, like I mentioned in the gut, when it's like, that's how I spell whatever, you know, um, that I didn't get because either I don't know the slogan, um, or I don't know the person. Who they said? Jimmy Hoffa? Like, I don't know who that is. So I'm sure there's some jokes in there that I didn't get, but there's still plenty of jokes that a person totally removed can still get. Like, there were really funny parts. I also love Martin Short. I didn't super love Meg Ryan in this. I think I really liked her character more in like a Harry Met Sally where she was smart and independent and she was witty. You know, this one she just kind of felt like the the clumsy blonde. But then again, this is a comedy so like, Ashley don't get so serious. Also, Dennis Quaid, listen, in the comments you tell me if I'm wrong or right, but there are some moments when I looked at him in this movie and I'm like, that's like a Jack Nicholson face. And maybe, maybe it's his smile. They both have that really unique sharp smile. And it also didn't feel like two hours. It's like a two-ish hour. It's a, like an hour and 59 minutes. It would have been really funny if they had like a little end credit scene that was like Jack rolling up to the honeymoon spot. Y'all already know that I have come to really love and appreciate the art of practical effects for 80s films and earlier films, right? But like him exploring the body, those scenes were really cool. But like, you know, him being in the uterus and seeing the baby, like that looked really freaking cool. I don't think this movie needs to be remade to like target younger folks. I don't think it's like that at all. The only thing that was like outdated, the computers and the fashion. Other than that, Practical effects, always fun, very neato. Uh, the concept, very fun, very neato. They all work so well together. I also just really, 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 really love Martin Short. There were a few jokes that I didn't get because of my age, but other than that, I laughed a lot. I was very intrigued at where he was gonna end up and how like this was all working together and how sci-fi, like scientific it was. You know, he could connect to the eyeball and see, he could connect to the inner ear and hear. Very neat. I would watch it again, not tomorrow. Four out of five stars. I think four out of five stars is totally reasonable. Very funny, but it didn't take away from the movie being funny in general. You know what I mean? Four out of five stars for me. Tachi, thank you so much for supporting me, the channel, and beans like you do. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because coming up Monday is Field of Dreams, and then Friday is X Men Days of Future Past, and then rounding out the Monday in August, Lord of the Ring, The Two Towers. So. That's what I got coming up for you. Hope you stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-verse, and I'll see you right back here on Monday. Bye.